Alright guys, um, welcome to today's uh, training and today we'll be looking at how to use um, the mask tool in um, PZ Lab. So guys, follow me along as I take you to um, the lesson properly. What is going on with my mouse? I don't know. Okay, let's load it back. Okay guys, um, so we continue with the lesson, so uh, I think my mouse is back. So all we have to do is uh, go to um, to, sh uh, to this tab and then let's select the, the over shape, the fill opacity to zero and then um, the stroke, let's increase it to max to 40. And then make give it a gradient like this. Let's change the background to something uh, something like this, right? So that we can see the difference between the background and what we are designing. So. We have to duplicate this. We have to duplicate this. Okay, so we go to this um, tab and then we click on copy. We reduce the size of this one. So, guys, remember, like I said, we want to create. Um, we want to create an overlapping shape where um, let, let's change this let's edit this one and change change the let's change it this way to create a contrasting environment so. okay I think I should create something like this good now there is contrast very very high so now we click ok so we want to create an overlapping here where this one we have to confront why this one enter inside so using the max tool we're going to achieve that very um, beautifully so in the process we will learn how to use a uh, mask tool to the uh, max okay so let's click on mask and then we click on activate so from here we can um, let's make it smaller let's bring it closer okay let's bring it closer when we bring it closer we can zoom in all right we can zoom in to see what we're doing properly so once we're done with that we can um, start editing this these two, these are uh, so I put it here. I put this one here. I put that one there. And then I put this one here. So bring it. Bring it. Alright. 
okay nothing is needed up here but I just want to so you can see from here I'm done okay so here you come down here and click on duplicate so you click on move this um, this button here is to move this um, any one that is selected so we are moving it to the top there and then we click on zoom so that we can go to the top and we move it properly so you can decide you can now change you can now swap so by coming back to um to readjusting these ones oh and remember we can't even do like it there is no point so we click on minus there is no point because this one has already synced in okay so one has already entered inside so there is no point to make it two but in this course we have learned something here i think it's not probably placed okay now it's properly placed so you can see that the overlapping has been done very well but maybe we can change much much better colors to make the contrast much visible you understand so that you will not be confused so you can see this one um, let's change the coloring let's manipulate this color so that you guys can see it very properly good so you can see that it has entered in and um, we are done with that but I want you to understand this um, these two very well so I'm going to create uh, I'm going to this one is just for demonstration so we go back to the mask tool we go back to the mask tool I'm going to introduce you to explain all the, the tabs how they work okay now if you have all the buttons here we're going to explain one after the other so this one we are exchanging to hand for plus is actually to duplicate um the mask that you have okay you can duplicate it and make it two okay and what does that actually work what does it um, work for let me I think I'll use a picture instead so for instance you have you have picture let's say um, you have a picture can I have can I get something that good this Ronaldo picture has what I want so for instance let's say you actually brought in this picture you want to crop it you understand so you take the max tool or let's say and let's use the mask tool okay so you use the mask tool um, so clink outside so Link move so that you can position it well so now we're going to learn something here now remember this is where we are this is our current these are highlighted uh, node so at this node if you come down here come to these actions remember they have 
we have mask mode we have the bezier uh, mode and then we have actions so i'm going to first start with uh, mode the mode in and out so the in is actually cutting what is inside your mask and every other thing that is outside this mask will be left on cut okay why the out does the opposite cut everything which is perfect for cropping pictures you can take it and crop pictures but what if okay let's finish it first before we talk about that so now when you're done when you crop this picture from the outside you add this node here you now um, crop this picture by adding more nodes and then you finish so now what about this space because you know this one cannot cut uh, Ronaldo's hand here you know for you to um, work inside this place you need another mask okay you need another mask which this one we cut inside and not outside you understand what i mean if now you want this background so let, let me show you what i'm saying so um if for instance let's say this is your crop as in you have already cropped outside here and you are done and then this place you want to crop uh, this place so what do you do you go to duplicate okay you go to add and then you take it sorry um, resize it make it smaller so when you make it smaller smaller again click ok and then click in one was highlighted the bigger one let's get back to mask you move it and then you click on out because this is the one that is going to crop the picture okay so you click on out and then you crop the outside one you're done with how you want it to look outside and then you want inside so all you have to do is to click plus to duplicate and then resize it resize it and click ok and then move um, click on move take it to that particular area and then click on um, edit and then once it's like this you then click um, in okay it's already cropping in sorry it's already out seeing it's already cropping what I wanted actually so you can see the way it's cropping and it's leaving Ronaldo from here you can see but here is the background that's why you're seeing this letter um this o that was at the back so if you click ok it means you have cropped from outside and inside that hand so that is not um the only thing you need to know about max to if you click ok you um have uh, you have here what is called this uh move um button let's say you duplicate and then you click it's actually working is talking i'm talking about is these buttons oh uh, as in it's actually switching between the first and the second okay switching between the duplicate and the original but here they are all original so it's actually switching between the copies of your mask too so this one is the duplicate and this one is the um let's say you don't want two you can minus one out or you can still plus one minus it this is your move under bezier mode then under actions this is
okay it's under move mm -hmm. i'm wondering okay under edit go back to edit and then go back to action so this one is used for adding nodes okay and it adds clockwise right now when you take this up let's make it out so that you can be seeing what i'm saying so now let's go back to here so when you click it's going to add from here this is our active node so if you click on add it's going to add a node from this angle from this side you understand if you keep clicking it will keep adding to it will come back to the beginning to the back of this so let's try that you see how it's adding and going that's how it will keep adding and adding and adding so it keeps adding it came to a node here so all you have to do is to highlight the front one and or this one and then click on add you can see that so usually add in the middle so when you're done with that and then you say you want to reduce the node let's say you added a node and you don't want you can simply click on this and it's reducing the same side that it was reducing before okay so it's reducing unless let's add drag out So let's say we have this node and then you click on this one and you click on remove. You click on this, make it the active node and click on remove. So you can see that this is your remove button. In case you add a node and you don't want, you simply click there. This is the resize of your mask. You understand? You can actually reduce the size of your mask or increase it. Reduce, increase okay now you click okay and this is for rotation you can rotate your mask you understand you can rotate the mask and click okay so those are the basic things anything you need to know about masks too has been covered in this video i don't know so thank you guys for having me bye bye